Hello and welcome to this urgent Bitcoin technical analysis where I am going to be going through the massively important crucial support level that we have right now on the Bitcoin chart, which if lost, we'll see much lower levels. I'm also going to be talking you through some really insightful knowledge, tips and tricks on this Bitcoin chart. I feel this is going to be a really great video for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I do recommend you watch this video slowly, really absorb the information, take out a notepad and write down the information that I'm giving to you here because it is extremely crucial for the Bitcoin chart going over the next few days to possibly weeks. These levels are going to be very important. So I'm going to be sharing that with you in today's video and I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. So without further said or do, let's get into the charts. So as I was saying, uh, I'm going to be giving you a technical analysis of what's happening right now. Obviously, we're seeing a massive move to the downside here on Bitcoin from the high of that daily to the low here. That's 15% decrease in price in just over a day. Actually, just under a day, <laughs> just under a day, if you think about it, because this is this is 18 hours worth of price action. Really massive move to the downside. We're in a local downtrend. And towards the end of this video, I will be sharing with you the most important, crucial support on this Bitcoin chart. So I will be giving you that in today's video. Um, what I want to start off with before we go into the bounce that's happening right now, why this bounce is happening, where the targets are for this bounce to the upside. I just want to start off with reviewing the past 18 hours of price action so you can learn and educate yourselves from this price action. It's so crucial that you start to understand and learn. That way you're going to be getting on, on these moves as they're happening. So I want to really quickly talk you through this section of the chart and then I will give you the massive important levels to what's happening over the next few days, two weeks on Bitcoin that you need to be aware of. So let's begin. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. As you know, yesterday we are, so the first thing that you want to write down right now, we are in a ranged bound market. So Bitcoin is in a range. What does that mean? It means that you need to get you know, when price is trying to break out at the highs, it means that you need to be aware of swing failure patterns. I will explain that now. So as you can see, this is a members update that I done 23 hours ago where I was telling the exact short position that I want to take on Bitcoin. And that was if we come up above this daily, we lose the daily for a swing failure pattern. I'm then saying the stop loss will be above the high. And we really simply then have a trading set. We have an entry, a stop loss and a target for the trade. That is the exact short position that I wanted. And as you all know, if you watched last night's public free live stream, I was showing you that's the exact short position that I was still in. Um, so that is how we really ended up at those highs. And <laughs> pretty much was exactly as predictive. You can see here, <laughs> move up just above the daily, come back down below, stop loss. And you can see in the end how that traded. We moved up exactly as predicted. We stun a swing failure pattern of the high. And we obviously moved down in the end all the way to the low of that daily, stop loss above the high totally was intact and well that's how you progress through the chart so for education how can i help you here why did we reject at this high okay swing failure pattern ladies and gentlemen i'm going to explain this for you briefly what this is we basically come up above the high here you can see we come up above our daily we close back down below the daily that gives you a short position that gives you your invalidation which is your stop loss above the high okay that is the ingredients needed for your short position obviously you can have some major targets which is obviously going to be the daily which is the middle and then your bottom daily which is obviously the low of your range but ladies and gentlemen i will share two posts within side of the group yesterday so you can see some of the value um <laughs> one for yesterday big short to wreck long positions winky 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 face uh this is what we wanted um because we recognize this is exactly what we're waiting for why would we not take big shorts we wanted to see the swing failure pattern. We're, we're in the middle of it. Again, this was posted at 1.30 yesterday. You can check the timestamps. This is exactly while we're up at the highs. And uh, then I am confirming that to the group a little bit later saying, right, now this is the valid short position. We have to come back below the three highs. The invalidation of the stop loss is easy of this short position. And, um, you know, as you saw, we took those shorts and in the end price made its way down. So I'm very content, to be honest with you, with how that prediction played out. And we obviously made our way down to this middle daily level. OK, so we made our way down to this middle as we're still bouncing right now on Bitcoin. Give me a few more minutes and we will get to this bounce as I can see we are moving up. What I want to make you aware of, though, first of all, is is what happened at this daily level. 
Okay, so this daily level in the middle of the chart, which is about $47,000, was so key for me. This was a key daily level, which I knew if we lose this, it's very likely we're going to come down to the low of our range. But this was an important level for me. And I will tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, I did take a long position off of this daily. I will explain now why I took a long position. Well, really simply for me, it's actually it's actually not that difficult. Um, you know, as well, you have to remember this is scalp trading. So not everybody's going to be so interested in this. But basically on the 30 second chart, we formed our original low and then we came down for a second low. And for me, this was my long off of the based off of the 30 second chart. So I will really quickly show you this just so you can see exactly what my thought process was. So if you zoom in here really, really tightly, we had obviously came down to the daily level. OK, and I took my long off of this 30 second retracement back into the CC. And for me, this was my entry trigger. So my entry trigger was really simply, I actually got filled in the end on this one about 47,400. Um, so it was a pretty nice entry that I had. It was based off of the 30 second chart. And it was based off of the fact that I recognized that this was likely to get a really, I recognized the potential, I suppose. I recognized the potential that we had at this daily level. OK, because this was your overall CC. And this was also really simply the daily level. So I did take a long position here on the Bitcoin chart. Obviously, we can see in the end, price went a lot lower. OK, price went a lot lower to the daily. But what you have to recognize here, why was this a profitable trade, even though price went much lower? Well, you, what you have to remember is from, from the low to the high, we're seeing about a 3% bounce. So you did get a 3% bounce from that daily. Also, the CC. Uh, the CC we're referring to here is obviously you can see it marked out there around 47,400. Hence why I was looking for the long up for 47,400. We actually bottomed out in the end 47,460. So we basically bottomed out at that CC. And from here, we got a 3% bounce to the upside. So how you might be what, what questioning, how can you make money on a long position when we all know what happened in the end price went much you know price went price went lower well this is the key here ladies and gentlemen it is taking profits so from the entry it's recognizing take profits you know like this guy saying take profit one at 48,500 question mark of course this is going to be a really really good place to long in the end we top out at 48,800 so 48,800, we obviously top out at. This is a 3% bounce to the upside. And what you have to remember is if you're trading this, and let's say you're trading, say, a million dollars, a 3% bounce is $30,000 profit, you know, in, a, in, 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 in minutes. So what you have to remember is, you know, if you're any substantial trader, 3% bounce is, it's a crazy big bounce. And the way that I personally traded this was taking my long positions off of the 30 second chart. And then it was taking profit one. And then I got stopped out on the rest of my long position. So essentially what that means is I was taking my longs here. I took my take profit one. And then as price comes back down below this low, which happens a few hours later, I get stopped out of the long. But the reason how this is still a profitable trade is because of the fact that, you know, because of the fact I was taking profit one. The, profit, the trade is, is still ending profitable because you take profit one, you move your stop loss up to break even. And, you know, when price makes its way down overall, you know, it still ends in a profitable trade. So one thing that I suppose the tip that I'll give you here based off of that before what's happening now on the chart. OK, we're still getting this bounce underway. But how why is this so important? And why do I bother mentioning this long position to you all here? Well, the reason why I'm even mentioning this in this video is because I really need to emphasize the need of taking profits and not getting greedy when you are longing in a downtrend. So we were obviously downtrending hard, but even though we were downtrending hard, I recognized the potential of a long. I'm trading my probabilities and I recognized it was a good long. I recognized though it was a good idea to take profit quickly as all we essentially done was go into support, support, resistance, we go in support, support, resistance, and we continue the downtrend. So I'm recognizing it's good time to take profits. Also, this for me was really, 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 really key. Again, this was posted last night. 
while we were trying to get the bounce, I was just saying to everybody, remember the stock market is very, very, very weak at the moment. And this will could affect Bitcoin. And that is bad for Bitcoin. Just remember what happened in March. Bitcoin was dragged down by the stock market. And the reason why I mentioned this as well is because last night while we were in this section, the stock market was continuing its crash to the downside. So you have to weigh up the, the in terms of probabilities, what's the most likely. Yes, I was happy to take a long here. But at the same time, I'm very aware of what's happening in the stock market. That's why it's so important to take profits. That's why it's so important to not get greedy because you can have made money on this 3% bounce to the upside, even though we've continued down. Okay, so that's what I just wanted to bear you, bring your attention to there. And now I'll bring your attention to what's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart. And I suppose this is what people are most interested in. <laughs> but I hope you've, you've learned something from this, how we originally got that short position, why I took a long here and it actually ended in a profitable trade. Stop lots. Obviously, I got stopped out on the rest of that long and we've made our way down to the low of the range. Remember what I said at the start of the video? We're in a range bound environment. Swing failure pattern of the high. We'll have a guess. Let, let me just play you a clip from as I was doing a live stream for the members 23 hours ago, Victor, the legend, woke up at 7 a.m. to do a live stream for the members today. Shout out to Victor making a live stream as the price was literally crashing this morning right down at the very lows, talking them through the price action. But I want to play you this clip of his exact words. OK, so just take a listen to what he said. What would interest me more than the bullish divergences is to see a swing failure pattern. So they're like, I actually want to take these stop losses just like we did up here, you know, get everyone to think, ah, oh, we're breaking down Whoop, and immediately um, trap a lot of uh, late shorts here and then swing back up. Yeah, that would be a nice, nice swing failure pattern. Um, so as you can see from that clip that I've just played, he was literally saying <laughs> before it happened that he wanted to see this. He wanted to see these lows taken. He wanted to see the swing failure pattern. Why? Because exactly the same as what we traded <laughs> for the long position, for the short position up at the highs. It's the exact same trade for the long position today at the lows. Look at this. You swing failure pattern the highs. You close back down below. Everybody that's trying to buy the breakout here, um, guess what? That they get absolutely wrecked. And then guess what happened this morning? Everybody that tries to short the breakdown here, um, have a guess what happened? Absolutely wrecked. Um, I mean, what can I say? This is a range bound environment. You come to the highs of the range. You look for short positions because we're in a range. You come down to the low of the range. You look for long positions. Why? Because we're in a range. So it's like, Longs here got wrecked. Shorts here got wrecked. Why? Because this is a swing failure pattern. Why? Because this is a swing failure pattern. You have your close. There's your there's your entry. There's your stop loss. Here you have. Here's your entry. Here's your stop loss. Swing failure pattern, ladies and gentlemen. How amazing! Obviously, there's a lot more details that we can go into it, but that requires a whole hour long live stream. But there we go. Swing fire pattern of the high, swing fire pattern of the low. So there you go. Now that's the exact reason why we're bouncing here. It is a swing fire pattern, exactly as predicted from the doctor himself. <laughs> uh, shout out to Victor. Obviously, that was his morning live stream for the members today. But now that brings us up to where we are now then. So ladies and gentlemen, we can acknowledge why we bounced, or sorry, why we rejected up here, why we bounced here. And now what are we looking at here? Okay, so I told you I'd give you the absolutely most crucial level of support in this video. And for me, a now a really big resistance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's still the exact same levels that I've been giving you for the past week now. <laughs> this daily level, it honestly is such a big level of resistance now. J just period it is. Obviously, if we, what, you know, what are we going to say to you? Well, what I'm going to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, is if you longed the bottom, because I know there was quite a lot of people longing inside of the group today, that if you longed here, I do think that now is a sensible take profit one, because you might not reach this daily. You might, you might not. You know, this is why you got to take profits. Do not get greedy. Do not get greedy. I need to, you know, say that again. Don't get greedy on your trades. Take profit, because a lot of people get into the scenario thinking, you know, let's say that they longed here. They're going to be saying to themselves, oh, I'm going to be looking for up here. I, you know, I don't want to take profits here because if I take profits here and price goes up, oh, I could have made even more money. Um, but the other scenario is maybe you say to that to yourself and you say, I'm not taking profits here because I think price is going here. And then price does this and rejects. And then you end up in a massive losing trade. Well, in my opinion, this is a sensible take profit. <laughs> 
it, 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 you know, it just is for me. And I'll say what, I mean, I've already taken profits because we come up from the high to the low. We've got through it, obviously, but we're at this CC region. So I always like to say the local CC is a decent take profit. Could we get through this and come higher? Obviously we could, but nevertheless, this is a good level to pay yourself because this is a level where we could reject to come down again, at least for like a retest of this level. So this for me is, is an intermediate resistance. It really is. Um, so that's just, I need to bring your attention to that, you know, if you've longed at the low of that swing photo pattern, this is in my opinion a, a take profit. Overall, we could still say we got these three massive levels. Again, I'm going to repeat them for you. They are so important. And again, this is not, we we had these mark levels marked out three days ago, uh, you know, given for the public, and obviously yeah, over one week ago they were marked out for the for the members. And I mean, the levels that we recognised over one week ago, while we're up at fifty eight thousand dollars, you know, they're being respected to the almost the T one week later. That is your resistance basically 51,600 your support basically 44,800 your intermediate level basically there $48,000 so so the three levels on the chart I truly believe as I said the exact words in yesterday's live stream you know th these are the only three levels that you need period <laughs> and I know it's still still feel the same to be totally honest with you you got your key resistance of that daily you got your key support of this daily you got your intermediate in the middle of the range of your you know, your, your big daily in the middle. Uh, you've got your current local resistance, which you're literally up against right now as we're speaking, the local CC, um, which I truly do believe is a really important resistance level that you're literally on right now as we're speaking. Um, if you clear this, I feel you look back up to, uh, you've got an intermediate resistance about 47,200. So you do have an intermediate 47,200. So be aware of this, you know, write this down, 47,200, 48,000, if you clear 48,000, well, you're probably going to be, you have that potential of just the actual range continuing. Obviously, you can then start to take this, which is giving you about 49,500. So yeah, then you have your 49,500, 51,600. Alternatively, if you reject, you know, off of those levels mentioned and you lose your, you know, this for me is a massive and cru crucial support. If you lose that daily, okay, then you're going to be looking down towards, in my opinion, you know, your, your much lower levels towards 38,000. I still remember 33, $33,000. And you might be saying to yourself that you might be thinking to me, oh, Daniel, we're never going to hit $33,000. But um, I'm not saying in this video whether we are or we aren't going to hit 33,000. What I am saying, though, is what happens if it does and you're not prepared for that? Well, you're going to be losing a lot of money. So rather than losing a lot of money, make a plan, be prepared. You know, before these moves happen, know where you want a short. You know, I knew exactly where I wanted a short yesterday. And then what did I do? I took my short at nearly basically the exact high. Um, <laughs> Hunky Dory, this, this trade, by the way, made over a thousand percent. So Hunky Dory, that's why you, that's why you trade your plans. Uh, over a thousand percent. And yes, I used higher leverage on this one, but this was for personal reasons um that i don't want to cover in this video but nevertheless you have a plan you trade your plan on the shorts you have a plan you trade your plan on the longs if you're going to say to me in this video daniel we're never going to thirty three thousand dollars well i'm going to say well if we start to lose support i think it's very likely um you know that's just really simply what i'm going to say how long have we been going 18 minutes too long i don't like to make these such long videos but i sometimes just get carried away with what i'm saying um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to bring your attention to. I have given you the education of the swing fire pattern of the high of why exactly we were taking those shorts yesterday, two rec long positions. I'm going, I've given you the swing fire pattern of the low there of why we bounced and where we're coming up to right now. I've given you the exact resistance that we're bouncing off of right now, or we are like basically rejecting from. Again, this is our CC, which is a very, very, very important resistance level. Like I cannot I'm just saying this is really important. Um, people that long the lows, this is a big take profit. People that like to short, this is also a potential short position. So this is a really important level. I've given you the level above that if we break through the CC, which we haven't broke through already. And I've given you the key level of support, which for me is the daily. If we lose that daily, I'm going to be looking towards 38,000, I think, to be honest with you. Um, that's the way, basically how I'm going to trade it. Um, yeah, and... Keep your eye on the stock market. Honestly, the stock market is really helping me with my trading. So there's a really big tip. Stock market, very useful. Uh, if you like, if you want sort of more 
uh informative updates if you want these sort of live streams obviously this is over at chartchampions.com where you can get access to the educational material if you want to get more more information about swing failure patterns if you want to know how to properly trade them what exactly you're looking for for a swing failure pattern you know we give that education at chartchampions.com you know, if you want to know how to mark out your daily levels, your weekly levels, swing failure pattern, looking at the volume, looking at your fibs, marking out CCs. You know, this is all the educational package that we give at Chart Champions. So if you want to learn, that's the place to learn. If you like these sort of updates where I'm talking you through some of my trades, when I'm telling, you know, when I'm taking profits, this is just a bonus. So I must stress that we are not a signals group. We are an educational group. And when I'm giving these little bonuses of saying, right, now I'm entering, now I'm taking my profits. This is not to be expected. This is just a bonus. Um, yeah, these are just little bonuses that we give, but we are, the focus is obviously educational. We're not a signals group. Okay. These are just absolute bonuses that you, uh, that people like, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I do want to also uh, emphasize this is a uh, very important that you read this. This is no financial advice in this video. None of this video has been financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please pause and read this uh, legal disclaimer. And um, yeah, I now don't have to edit any of the video. I'll just go upload it straight to YouTube because again, this is really crucial time sensitive information. So it's very important that I get this uploaded. Final words, um, currently in a range. I've given you the resistances. I've given you the supports. <laughs> And that's everything that I wanted to say. So I suppose <clears throat> um, smash up the likes. If you've enjoyed the video, you can smash up the likes. And uh, let's say 1,000 likes live stream tonight. We'll see if we meet that target or not. Hope you have thoroughly enjoyed the video and I'll get this uploaded straight away for you. Thank you ever so much and have a brilliant, 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 brilliant day. Thank you ever so much and goodbye. Cheers.